Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Before we do, let's have a look at her as a much younger Hermione in the brilliant Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. One of a wizard's most rudimentary skills is levitation, or the ability to make objects fly. Wingardium Leviosa. Off you go, then. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. You do it, then, if you're so clever. Go on, go on. Guardium Leviosa. Guardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. See here, everyone. This great has done it. <laughs> Splendid. Wingard Leviosa. Well done, Wingard. dear. <laughs> Oh. I think we're going to need another feather over here, Professor. Wow. How young they all are there. Will you please welcome Emma Watson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Watson, the here we go. Wow, nice to have you. Here. Hey, that's uh, you look back at those films. That, that I mean, that's a, a while back, but you're just babies in that. Of course, how old were you when you made the first one? Um, I was about ten years old. I just turned ten. Ten years old. And that's what. Uh, so you're eighteen now, is that right? Or just I'm about 19. to nineteen? Okay, so so a way back, and you all look so young. I mean, Dan in particular looks tiny. He looks like he's about six. <laughs> he was small though. He was. Yes. And he's grown a bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a lovely guy, though. They're, I mean, they're all of guys. you kind of grown up with them, I guess. I mean, you, that's the biggest yeah. chunk of your childhood. Definitely. They're like, um, they really are like my siblings, really. I spent so much time with them. You were, when you were, before you got the role, uh, you'd read the books. You were a fan already of the books, mm. I believe, weren't you? Those that had been out uh, by that stage. How many times did you audition to get the part? I, um, they found Dan very late in the process. He never actually kind of, um, he didn't kind of go in for auditions. Um, he was kind of a friend and whatever. Anyway, um, so kind of they were trying to find the right Harry to go with. I think they had Rupert and I in place earlier so on. So they found so you already? They found, they found us and um, we kept auditioning with lots of different potential Harrys. So I did eight auditions maybe? Eight? Wow, like we're different. But you knew you had the part already when you were doing those auditions. No, no. that must have been just a, a, quite an awful ordeal then, in some way. <laughs> it was. It was like it was like my life for like wow. three or four months. I was just wanted it so badly. And were they seeing other potential Hermiones, or were you the only one? Actually, they were. They were. I remember um, being devastated coming into the studio and seeing um, another little girl who uh, had actually been in films before. And I was like, oh, I'm never, never going to get it. She's had previous acting experience. She's, you know, she's, you know, it's all over type thing. My dream is over. And uh, to make matters worse, she was playing cards with another Harry. Wow. I was like, oh, my God, they're making friends already. I'm definitely not going to get it. So by the time I got to my audition, I was just in yeah. some pieces. I know who you're talking about. And that Dame Judy Dench is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she can play young as well. You know, she can do the young parts. <laughs> Uh, but you must have been so. So the moment when you found out uh, you had it, how did that happen? Who broke you the, the news to you? Um, we came into the studio for another audition, and David Heyman, uh, who's the producer, sat us down in his office and um, said, "You are, you are the preferred candidate." I remember him saying that for the role. You are the preferred candidate. Yes. So he didn't actually say you had it yet, then. Well, no, that was it. Five oh. minutes later, there was a picture of us online and it so, was all so going crazy. It, that's weird, that, that kind of strange use of words, that you are the preferred candidate. Yeah. He was still hedging his bets up to the last minute. Well, I guess. Maybe he didn't really want me. Uh, so know. when you heard preferred candidate, did you think, great, I've got it, or did you think, what does that mean? Probably. My nine-year-old self was like... Yeah, yeah good, yeah. got it. No, Have I, I got it? Have yeah. I not? Um, no. And presumably you're now beginning to think about when it's over. It's going to be a, a bit of a wrench, I would have thought. It's going to be kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah, it will be strange. I mean, uh, I'm being asked to talk about it a lot, but in a way, I've still got a lot ahead of me. We've got, we finished filming in April next year, so we've got a while to go. 
you know, and then two more to be released and the theme park and it yeah, doesn't so feel a, over. There's a theme park. Yes. Are you involved in all that as well? Do you have to be involved in that? or you Actually, we were. We filmed a scene for one of the rides. One right. of it's going to be, like, interactive and we're going to talk to you and stuff. After you finish this, you've already got kind of the next few years planned out, haven't you? You're going off to study. You're going yes. to the university in America. Yes. OK, uh, once again, that's an exciting thing, uh, exciting thing to look forward to. Why go to America? Why not stay here and do it? Uh, over here, you just have to choose one thing to study for three years. And I miss so much school and I just... It really appealed to me that in the States you can study this kind of really broad curriculum. You can take sort of up to four courses a term yeah. and um, it's very like open and they really encourage you to do different stuff. And I'm really into art as well, so um, it so was So just, just better choices available? Just more choice. Here's the thing which is incredible, I think, is you've made these movies, you've been working on them, but also you've done so well with all your grades. This sounds kind of, I don't know, but you've got A's in all your GCSEs, is that right? And in your A-levels as well? Yeah. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> That must be really hard to be studying when you're filming. Yeah, um, it was tough. It was really tough. I felt very torn a lot, but um, it was so worth it. You know, I'm so excited about going to university and, you know, I just... I want to have my cake and eat it. I want, I want the best of both worlds. I want to do everything. Yeah. But it's interesting you say that because there must have been some things that you, you did miss out on. Of, yeah. You know, the kind of normal things that kids got. What kind of things yeah. did, you, did you want to do more of or did you sort of see your contemporaries do that you couldn't join in with? You know, if you're working really long hours, you know, you maybe you can't make, I don't know, someone's birthday party or a sleepover or something that you, you know. But just, I never felt like I was missing out because I was gaining so much. Yeah, so the, what you got in return, the balance was... Totally. And, favor. you know, and there were gaps in between filming and I would always go back to school so I'd get to see my friends then and... Like, it felt, my life felt like both parts were kind of a holiday because I'd get a break from school and get to go and do something really exciting and fun and i get to come back again and see all my friends again. So, I mean, I was always working, but it was exciting and fun. How do, how do boys deal with you when, you're, when, you, when they see you out and about now? And, if, you know, if you're in a club or in a party or something, you know, guys are going to want to talk to you, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, but, they, but they know who you are, they, or they think they know who you are. They know who Hermione is. Do they, yes. do they use that as a kind of way of trying to get, start a conversation with you? It's amazing how many... I don't think you can even call them chat-up lines you can get out of broomsticks and wands and... Well, it would things. be amazing, because none um, of the rest of us have ever heard one. Uh, so they, presumably they think that big, I can use that great broomstick line I've been sitting on for years. The other thing they do is they come up and they think... Tragically, they think they're really original and really funny and that I never will have heard this before. They come up and go, Oh, um, you're the girl from Narnia, aren't you? Obviously, they know that I'm not. They think that yeah, it's funny yeah. because... Whatever. I don't really know why they think it's funny. It's not actually that funny. But, uh, it's like, oh, it's the tenth time I've heard that. Or maybe it was Lord of the Rings that some other guy two minutes ago did. But, um... I like the fact that, obviously, the guys here, they do the gang, you go going like that. Yeah, you're the girl yeah. from Narnia, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Lord of the Wings ting, isn't it? Yeah. Lord, of, Lord of the Kings. Um, is there anyone in your life at the moment? Are you seeing anyone? Do you have a boyfriend? I do, actually, yes. I do. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, I'm pleased to hear that, and I hope that goes uh, well for you. OK, uh, let's talk about the new movie, then, because the new movie uh, is out on the 15th of July over here, I believe. Uh, uh, it's Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, um, and it's got pretty much the same cast that we've grown to know and we, we've grown to love. Uh, you, you've seen the finished film? You've seen the uh, finished piece of right now? OK. Yes. When do you guys get to see it? You go and see it together? You have a kind of special screening? Um... I think Dan was in New York, he was doing Equus, so he couldn't see it at the same time. Um, I think we saw it separately this time, but sometimes we do, we all group together. And did you see together. him in Equus? I went to see him on stage, and of I course there was, a, there was a big I interest did. in the fact that he was going to be naked on stage. I did. It must have been strange for you, you guys who've worked with him for so long, to go and then see Dan, little Dan from Harry Potter standing there. Yeah, <laughs> well, I always don't think of him that way, but it was, um, it was quite something, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look at a clip. This is you with Dan. I think we're going to show the library scene. This is from the new Harry Potter movie. Uh, you're going to enjoy it, I'm sure. Look at this. He's a perfect liberty to kiss whomever he likes. I really couldn't care less. Was I under the impression he and I would be attending Slughorn's Christmas party together? Yes. Now, given the circumstances, I've had to make other arrangements. Have you? Yes. Why? Well, I just thought, seeing as neither of us can go with who we'd really like to, we should go together, as friends. Why didn't I think of that? Who are you going with? 
Um, it's a surprise. Anyway, it's you we've got to worry about. You can't just take anyone. See that girl over there? That's Ramilda Vane. Apparently she's trying to smuggle you a love potion. Really? Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. Okay, sorry. Um, kidding. Great fun. It's a really lovely film. It's great fun and it's exciting. Um, we see you there with Dan, of course, but what a great cast around you as well. You've got the great Michael Gamble on screen with you, yep. uh, Helena Bonham Carter, who's fantastic in it, yes. and Alan Rickman as well. I love it when he's... How is it working with those guys and how has your relationship with those changed since, uh, since you've grown up? Well, I think when we were younger, we were just terrified of Alan Rickman, and now we sort of can have conversations. He's still, he's still a bit scary, though, isn't he? No, not anymore. He's super nice. He's super nice. Uh, you forgot Jim Broadbent. Jim Broadbent. He's in this one. He's yeah, he's terrific he's as well. Brilliant. Uh, let me ask you about the, the relationship, the changing relationship in terms of your acting with, mm. with the young performers you were, because, of course, yeah. in the books, we see that there's a kind of growing relationship between Hermione and, and Ron. Yes. Okay, and now you're going to have to bring that to life on screen. Yes. So there's going to be kind of romantic scenes, mm -hmm. kissing scenes, and yeah. so on and so forth between yeah. you and Rupert, who you've, who you've grown up with and you've known, and presumably there isn't that actual... He's not your boyfriend, is he? No. no. So no. is that going to be saying things you've known him for so long? Um, have you done any of those things yet? Actually, we, we did the kiss two, two weeks ago, and um, it was the most horrible thing <laughs> I've had to do. Not because Rupert isn't lovely and there are millions of girls out there who would probably chop their left arm off to kiss him, but um, it just felt like incest. That's the only way I can describe it. <laughs> but no. Because she's like your brother. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. And so, so what, how did you prepare yourself? Did you just think about someone else or did you just knuckle down and just... great thing about kissing is that you close your eyes. So... Well, not always. You know, uh, <laughs> I, I, this is a bit of a, sometimes I open mine to see if the other person's looking. <laughs> so it's funny when I was actually kissing him because I had my eyes closed so I could not think about the fact that it was him. The worst bit is when we had to open our eyes and look at each other because then it was just like... <laughs> <laughs> and then we couldn't keep going. But no, we did it in the end. Six takes, not bad. Six takes is worse. not bad. Yeah. Emma, I can't wait uh, to see the final couple of movies, but uh, I saw uh, Half Blood Prince with my kids. We really enjoyed it, and I'm going to oh, go and see it good. again. Uh, it, it's uh, so nice to see the fact that the, the movies are keeping up the quality. It's fantastic. I can't wait to see the, the last few. But it is going to be, you know, I would have thought quite an emotional thing for you and for Dan, for Rupert, and for the rest of the cast when it ends. Yeah, I think, I think it will be. Yeah, inevitably it will be... I mean, it's, it's, been our, it's been like our whole lives. It's been what everything has revolved around for the three of us. So it's, it, will be, it will be very strange. But you keep in touch at the moment anyway when you're not filming, don't you? I mean, you're kind of in touch and you're friends and you, you hang out together a bit. So that won't necessarily end. This is true. But, you know, when I don't get offered any scripts or any good parts and, uh, in 30 years, I'm sure they'll do a remake and maybe I can play Professor McGonagall or something. Well, like you're, yeah. <laughs> well, you're still the preferred choice of all of us for Hermione. So, so thank you so much uh, and congratulations on the movies. But perhaps more importantly, congratulations on all the A-level results because that's really something. Uh, how lovely to have you here. Emma Watson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.